Hey there, Tony Policastro here with the Acoustic Letter brought to you by Music Villa. Today we're going to look at a very unique custom dreadnought from the folks at Martin. But before we do so, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about matching certain guitars to certain playing styles. And that being the case, I've created an acoustic guitar buyer's guide, which I'll tell you how to get at the end of this review. <laughs> to this custom all mahogany dreadnought from Martin. Now, I've lately gotten into all mahogany guitars. I really like them. In fact, I really like the small body all mahogany guitars. So when I saw this, I gotta be honest, it put me on my heels a little bit because I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna sound. But I gotta be honest, this is a really awesome full sounding guitar. And the reason it is, I think lies underneath the hood. So let me give you the rundown. What we have on this custom dreadnought is a solid mahogany top, solid mahogany sides, and a solid mahogany back. Now, underneath the top is quarter inch scalloped bracing, which is very light bracing, which in my opinion, I feel allows the mahogany to move quite a bit, which is why this guitar sounds so rich and so full, and it really responds quite well. We also have an ebony bridge, bone saddle, ebony bridge pins, abalone rosette, abalone purfling around the entire top and the top's done in a sunburst and I got to be honest I've been honest a lot apparently in this review but I have to be honest the uh the sunburst next to the abalone looks really good and it really accentuates the green kind of hues of the abalone very very cool aesthetic combination the back and sides as I mentioned before solid mahogany the back strip is a piece of rope purfling which looks very very cool the neck is a mahogany low profile neck we have an ebony fingerboard with abalone Foden inlay, an inch and three quarter bone nut, Madagascar rosewood headstock overlay with CF Martin inlaid in abalone, Goto open gear butter bean tuners, and just an all around really cool guitar. Again, this guitar at first glance, I thought, wow, that looks really cool, but I'm not quite sure how it's gonna sound because all mahogany, big guitar, maybe it's gonna be really mushy and kind of gross. But this guitar really is clear, it's very rich, it's very emphasized on the bass and the mids, but it's still very clear. So all that being said, I'm gonna let you be the judge. I'm gonna play this all mahogany custom dreadnought from the folks at Martin so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> All you have to do to get the Acoustic Guitar Buyer's Guide is sign up for the Acoustic Letter. You can go to acousticletter.com forward slash join or click the link below. Once you're signed up, you'll never miss a review and it's the quickest way to get pricing and photos on all of these instruments. Now, if you happen to be interested in purchasing this guitar, go to acousticletter.com where you can see it along with hundreds of other guitar reviews that I've done. Thanks a lot for checking it out.